Hey beautifuls, what's good, what's poppin'? Happy Sunday, I'm just Jackie is here. Listen, I'm just Jackie is tired, y'all. Well, I'm not tired, I just don't feel well. How about that one? I really just don't feel 100 today. Um, And I did go out. If y'all hear this, this bitch talking, it's the GPS, okay? Um, I really didn't feel good. No, listen. I went out last night, had a good time. It was one of my friend's husband's uh, 50th birthday party. Miles. Turn and, right um, to merge onto I-664 south towards We had a good time. We had a good time. Now, I did have a uh, I did have a couple of drinks before I, I got there. I only had one drink when I actually got to the party. And I was fine, you know. The dinner was good. Everything was great. The cake was amazing. The company was good. Um... The thing is, before I left, I started feeling like I was, um, I feel like a migraine was coming on. And I'm like, damn. So, and it wasn't from the drinking, guys. Um, I really haven't been going hard on drinking in the past few weeks, for real, for real. Um, I just hope I'm not coming down with something, for one. Um, I don't think, it, I don't think I'm coming down with something. So, anyway, when I woke up this morning, I woke up with this... <laughs> I woke up with that splitting headache, with that migraine. Like, I felt it coming on before I went to bed. So, I said, let me just go and lay my head down. Woke up this morning, like, <laughs> So, anyway, um, I'm just like, damn. You know, I didn't have any plans. I got plans, but not plans that I was worried about uh, breaking if I had to break. Because I, I needed to just chill. And um, so I laid in bed on the majority of the day. It's, it's like 4 o'clock right now. I'm just leaving the crib and, you know, getting my life together. Because I was going to get up earlier and go visit my peoples. But I was like, I'll go later if I'm up to it. I said, I just knew I needed to go back to sleep. So that's what I did. I was up playing around on social media for a while. And then I just went on and went back to bed. And, um, and I'm thinking maybe it's my eyes. Um... I don't know if y'all been paying attention to me in the last few vlogs, but I've been saying my uh, I need to go to my optometrist because um, it's just time for me to get my medicine redone. And I don't think the meds and the glasses are um, strong enough anymore. And if y'all noticed, uh, I got the teeth whitening strips on my teeth right now, so I'm getting my two hours in right now. Um, that video will be up next week. I should have been editing it today, but um, I didn't do the strips yesterday, so I got to do Sunday and Monday, because Sunday should have been the last day, so I missed the day. Well, I didn't miss the day. I just skipped it. So, anywho, um, yeah, I went forward. Um, so, I'm here, and I'm vlogging. I'm on my way to my in-law's house, right? And I was thinking about doing this, um, this video before but then decide, you know you know how you get sidetracked and something else um you know you decide to go do some another video or whatever but um and i haven't done a, um i haven't done one of these life after 40s because like normally i do it on my way to work or on my way home from work in one mile turn right to merge onto I but, 64 south towards seven Y'all know I moved recently, and I'm literally right around the corner from the job. Like, I'm 10 minutes away from the job, so that's not enough time for me to get it in. I'm, I'm just getting, I'm just cooking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just cooking in 10 minutes, right? So, anyway, I thought about this the last time I was on my way to my in-law's house, and I said, well, I'll save it for the next life after 40. But I didn't realize it was going to be this much time in between the last one. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, anywho, with all that being said, I want to talk about uh, relationships, at, you know, during a during a separation and after a divorce, right? So I guess it's, it like drums up a question. Any for anyone, you know, who's going through a separation, going through, a, you know, went through the divorce proceedings. How is your relationship with your in laws after the fact? right after after the dust settles and 
not even after the dust settles, like during during the all the conflict in the middle and the end, which is after the dust settles, once, once you finally just get the resolution from the um, the divorce, right? So, um. Use the right lane to merge onto I-664 south towards Suffolk. Yeah. Making sure I ain't missing my damn ramp, you know? So, anywho, um, so I'm just going to tell y'all, you know, my story, you know, what happened. And when I, not with too much detail, but what I'm saying is I'm just going to give y'all the general, you know, the general idea of how my relationship is with, um, in 16 miles, with my ex-husband's well my ex-husband's um his people's right so anyway uh y'all already know all the humble beginnings or endings of that relationship and um but during that time they always supported me like they supported me they was always there for me um if i needed if i needed somebody to talk to if um I just needed to be around somebody. They were always there. Um, like the first few weeks when everything was going down, I was around them every day. At some point during the day, I was around them every day. Because I just didn't, I didn't want to be alone and I was just going through it. And I, I told y'all I wasn't eating. They was making sure I was eating something. They didn't know I really wasn't eating, but they, you, you could look at me and tell I wasn't eating. You know what I'm saying? So they was making sure I was eating at least one good square meal a day because uh, really I wasn't eating I was just mainly drinking water but I don't know where I find the gusto you know, to still get up and put in um, you know all those hours of work when we was running that business you know I was going in and cleaning the buildings I was supposed to be cleaning but at the end of the day I just I, you know I know I'm resilient and my body's just going to do what it got to do right so like I said in the beginning they, they was all they was always there um they never wavered or nothing at, at the end of the day they was um you know father-in-law hoping we get back together i i know his stepmom is like me and me and, and mj like like this you know and i know uh i like i know mj wants me happy like she wants to see me happy and if she and if i felt like my happiness was getting back with him then she she respects my happiness um that way but i know deep down um now that i know after everything deep down she knows i'm better off without him because he's 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 still not in a place where he can be a better half to anybody but himself so anywho um you know because the the battle was between me and him y'all like in the beginning it was horrible horrible um name calling fussing just couldn't even have a decent conversation because of all the hurt and pain that i was going through and it made it worse because he didn't want to own up to, to nothing you know what i'm saying he won't own nothing but anyway through everything and you know it's the, the crazy part is you know my pops with my pops his father, you know I, I call him pops listen he all in the beginning he was like he didn't want to believe that his son would do that to me. He was like, I know for a fact he ain't do it. He told me himself he ain't do it. And I just had to break it down to him. You know, I was like, yeah. I said, Pop, I love you. I said, I know you always say your son ain't never lied to you. I don't know how he's wording this to you. I said, but he's definitely cheating. He's definitely cheating, still cheating. And I have concrete proof, proof you know. So I don't know if he's trying to save face and he don't want to disappoint you in in, in, in your eye, you know, in your eyes or whatever. But that's the you 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 hold on to whatever you want to hold on to. I'm, I'm I'm holding on to the truth. So and that's another reason why you know things that things like was the way it was with me and the ex because he want to own shit. You know what I'm saying? You want you want to own stuff. At, years later, you want to own shit in 2019. And we've been separated since 2013. Been divorced since uh, 2000 uh, June, no May May 2019. You know, I mean 2018. We've been divorced. 
So it's been over a year since we've been divorced. And now it's like, now you want to be like, oh, I, I see you, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I, oh, I understand, blah, blah, blah. And this is what the, like, you could have had these conversations with me a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So what's, what's so different now where you want to have these conversations now? And you didn't want, and, and you, you couldn't find it within the five years we were separated. You couldn't find the, the, the gumption or the goal, or you couldn't see how wrong you were. Five, it, it's somewhere in between those five years. But anyway, so y'all, if y'all ain't picking up, this conversation is going to be bouncing everywhere. So anyway, back to my in laws. Like, I still go see them at least once a week, okay? Uh, if I'm in town, it's, uh, my day is Sunday. So today's Sunday. That's normally the day I go see my, my in-laws. And yes, I still call them my in-laws. I mean, I divorced him, you know. That I, and then the thing is, um, I, I know people who, who have gone through separations and divorces. And they, ain't, they don't I'll have no contact with the uh, ex's uh, family whatsoever. And I'm like, damn. But I know I would see them all Jay cool smooth, you know, all happy, 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 smiley, smiley and shit. And then now all of a sudden they're not with your son anymore. And uh, I should have put my phone on do not disturb. So all of a sudden they're you're not with your son anymore and y'all just they they don't think you exist, honey. They don't think you exist, they don't want to acknowledge you. Like the relationship never happened. So like what, what, what is up with that? So basically it's like you guys are taking sides. It ain't about taking sides. It didn't have nothing to do with you guys. It was between the two the two people, which would be, you know, your daughter-in-law and your son, right? That's who it's between. But it just seems like for some people who go through it, it's like people feel like they got to take sides. I always say... I have built my own relationships with people. So if something happens, that's between me and those person, people, people, person, whatever. So I have built my own relationship with his father, with his stepmother. You know what I'm saying? Our, our own relationship. So this is why I can still be welcomed in their home and go over there every Sunday. I'm not I'm not forcing myself on them. I, I get my text messages, I get my calls if I do not, if they don't hear from me. They calling and texting me, making sure I'm good. I'm, I get my text or whatever, like, hey, you coming by? You coming by on Sunday? Oh, and if I'm out of town, I let them know, like, hey, I ain't going to be here this week. I'm going out of town or whatever. So this is the relationship we have built together. So it's mutual. They want to see me, and I don't mind going over there. I, I love spending time with them. You, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm, you know, so basically what I'm saying is, like, I don't understand how you have that relationship through all of this time, and then all of a sudden that your son is not with your daughter, your um, his wife anymore. And you like, and let's just say that you got kids; they got kids together. You, you cut them off like that. I don't know. I think people are just weird. I mean, but in my situation, I, I didn't have any kids with them, right? So anyway, so. So me and my in-laws, we just had that relationship, and um, and and at the and over over the period of years, I feel like my my father-in-law knows and understands that his, his son is who he is. He gonna be who he gonna be, and he he knows what his son did. You, you know what I'm saying? And it you know he gets it. You know, whatever he knows, he know he's not sitting there like on that that trip. Like, oh, he would never do that to you, trip. Okay. When he brings the the young lady and she's sitting outside in the front yard uh, in the car waiting on him to come back out. Okay, but your son your son wasn't you. Sometimes you gotta see shit to realize shit. Okay. So anyway, um, stay in the left two lanes. But yeah, um, our relationship is great. Um. I always been honest and upfront with them about everything, and 
we just got a great mutual respect for each other. This is why I can still get my invites to Christmas, Thanksgiving, all kind of holiday. It ain't even got to be a holiday. It could just be any day. I could pop over there right now, and and it ain't. And I don't need no goddamn um, invitation. I don't need to um, say, hey, I'm coming. I don't need to announce it. You know, it's just I am a I'm a friend of the family. But they always gonna see me as their daughter-in-law. He still calls me daughter-in-law. He was like, I don't care. You his always gonna be his wife in my eyes i'm like okay and um i know deep down he still hopes that we get back together but mm -mm, that ain't that's that's not i don't i don't see that happening i just don't see that happening and um but yeah i just wonder how other people's relationships are with their in-laws and if you have that relationship where it just disappeared you know, once the separation came and, and the divorce was final, what do you think? Like, do you, do you think that the relationship was real ever? Do you, was it ever real, or do you feel like it's just the fact that they feel like they got to take the side of the son? Uh, and then vice versa, you guys, like men who are watching my channel, same with you. Like, if you um, is do y'all experience that? Like, do you feel like you're um? Uh, the ex-wife or the estranged wife's family cut you off after um you know you guys have um decided to call it quits on the union you know and then how does that work especially when you got kids together so like how does that work you know you got holidays and stuff do y'all like i know there's some blended people out there like like how i get along with my in-laws i feel like if i feel like if i if i ever got in another relationship um, to the point where I, I will feel comfortable enough bringing that person around my family and all that stuff. I feel like I can bring that person around them. And then, but, but they wouldn't do it. Though. They, here, the, here's the kicker though. They're going to feel like they got to respect the ex-husband. So, but he didn't respect me and that's why we ain't together. So, but, you know, no... No judgment or nothing, but I but I understand and I get it. So because he's not gonna be, he ain't gonna like it. Now if he if he was doing his Amarion, shout out to Amarion. If he was on his Amarion where he was unbothered and and you know he doing his thing and he got his little friends or whatever whatever, and he's and he's letting that be known. I feel like I could uh, have a person around them. And then, like, if there was a party or something, I just feel like everybody, you know, he could do it, have his his person, I could have my person there, and it wouldn't be no smoke because honestly, I I'm not interested in him like that no more. I love him, but I ain't in love with him. I ain't in love with that man no more. You know, I love everybody. <clears throat> that don't mean I that don't mean I like you. I love you though, but I don't mean I like you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, at the end of the day, I wouldn't have no problem with it. So. But yeah, he would probably make a big stink about it or, or, or whatever. So it is what it is, right? But that you, you gotta, I respect it from that point of view, that angle. But I'm just saying, for it, but cutting off a whole relationship because you're no longer married to that person, they're not married to your own, your people's no more. It's, it's kind of, kind of sad. It makes you wonder if they ever liked you, or if they just put up with you or tolerated with, tolerated with. Mm. Y'all these teeth white it's just y'all know about these teas. Well y'all will when y'all see the damn video. Um like did they ever tolerate you? Or or was they just tolerating you? That's what I mean. So I just wonder. Um but yeah, so y'all let me know. Uh how is and then for for those of you who are still married with your um to your wonderful spouse, how is your relationship? with with your um, in-laws is it is it is it strained is it a great relationship do you feel like if something happened would they just cut you off and y'all like y'all's relationship never existed ever you, you know what i'm saying so this question just goes to everybody out there anybody who has been married still married separated divorced whatever let me know how your relationship is with your in-laws and that's um that's pretty much all I got for this um life after forty. Um, 
if y'all got anything particular y'all want me to talk about in my life after 40 series hey i'm here y'all i don't y'all know i don't mind sharing sharing is caring i hope but i do want to um i do want to say this though i do want to say this um and close it out um i know like i said a lot of people um in two miles take exit okay on the left to merge onto She's so disrespectful. She's just talking over me and stuff. So, I know, I, I know, I know a lot of us, um, watch, uh, watch Tony Daly. Like, we have Tony Daly in common. Well, I shouldn't say watch. Um, well, yeah, fuck it. We, we are subscribed. Some of us watch. Some of us don't watch. Now, I know you guys know, because I told y'all, I was not watching YouTube for a long time because I wasn't I wasn't making content so by me not making content is that just I just fell off and watched other people as well and I think I said this in, a, in another video it was like I didn't I, I think I feel some type of way or or whatever because I was like damn I don't think I could watch my peers put that content out and and I wasn't doing it myself you, you know what I'm saying so not, not feeling some type of way towards my peer. Mm. That little teeth white and But just feeling some type of way in general because I was like, I ain't putting out no content. I said, I see, and, you know, I'm just like, I can't even get the gumption of like, the left two lanes to take that get my life together. Left. So anyway, so with all that being said, um, a lot of you guys, I, if y'all don't know, then I ain't gonna say you under rock. It's just that you just ain't interested. <laughs> okay, so most of you guys know that uh, Tony Daly um, started posting her vlogs uh, a couple of months ago about her now estranged husband Drew, and um, you know she's going through the separation process and you know leading towards divorce and and all that stuff and um, but I just wanted to say um. Everybody's situation is different. Now, her pain ain't different. Her pain ain't no different than what my pain was when I went through my situation. The thing is, she's just being more publicized with her her situation. She recorded stuff while everything was literally going on at the time. When my situation was going on, I was not. I, I won't. It wasn't, it wasn't in my mind or my spirit or anything to pick up the camera and record how I'm feeling, record my emotions, record my day as I'm going through, as I'm distraught. You know what I'm saying? My thing was, I was so, I was too distraught to pick up a camera and talk about it. But I was still trying to put out content though. You know what I'm saying? If you go back and look at my videos from back in, um, hmm, I'm going to say like 2000, because we separated July 2013. Yeah, July 2013. If you look at stuff from around that point um, through uh, 2014, you can see my weight loss. You can see how my eyes were sucking in and all that stuff looking like a pure tea pookie. Looking like a pookie. So... Um, so I, I, I just, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it and, and, and share at that time, the distressed, the, the brokenness, the loneliness, the heartache, In three quarters all, the night, it, turn right onto Cavalier Boulevard. how broken I was, period. I couldn't express all that. It was, I just couldn't do it. Um, I, I should have expressed it to somebody cause I wouldn't have gone through the, the journey I went through, but at the end of the day, I went through the journey. I don't know. It's, it'd probably be some parts I would change about it. But whew, I went through it and it's making me stronger. It made me stronger. It's making me better. So anyway, I'm saying all this to say, you know, Tony's out there, you know, doing her thing. Um, Sharon, like we're getting like live, real life time, real life time of her going through this process. So, and Honest, I mean, I started watching it. I'm not watching it no more. I just don't want to watch it no more. It's not, it's, it's not for me. 
um, you know, I'll be watching her beauty, beauty stuff and, and hair videos and stuff, but the, the, um, the, the personal blog part about I, it's, it's not for me. If somebody wants to hit me up and tell me about it, y'all tell me about it. But I, I stopped watching it mm, probably about a week ago, so I'm not really watching the vlogs anymore. But um, I just want to say all this to say um, like I said, everybody's different. If if Tony feels now, I, now I get it. Now I now I did tell my experience. I told my experience. Uh, I, you know, I still hadn't gone through it though, because I know a lot of people say, "Well, what's the point of um coming and talking about it <coughs> after you don't went through it?" I'm still going through it. I am still going through it. I go to therapy twice a month, you know, and I don't know if Tony going to therapy or whatever. If she ever mentioned going to therapy or anything like that, go to therapy, Tony. I go. Anybody who's watching this, if if you're is devastated. Turn left. As you're saying, you're devastated. If you're heartbroken, as, as, as bad as you're saying, you're heartbroken, then go talk to somebody. Friends and family is great, but I still say get that outside support system that does not know you so you can um deal with this properly. The okay? destination is on your right. So, for me, I'm, I'm talking about it, but I'm talking about it as I, as I gradually uh, go through the healing process now. The destination you know what I'm saying? Right. Tony's doing it as real life time and then my thing is i've always been very vocal at, at the point where even i said hey i know at some point i still wanted to be with that husband you know what i'm saying so i y'all never heard me come up here and bash that man y'all never heard me call him no name no nothing because that's just not my character you know what i'm saying so can't nobody sit up and say i'm bashing my ex-husband or nothing if they watching any video on th that i have talked about my union with him you know, I'm just telling the truth about the situation, but I'm not calling him no no names and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, um, a part of it was, you know, because I still, I, you know, I still love and care for him and everything. And and then even at this point, I still, you know, like I said, I still love him, but I don't want to be with him. But you're still not gonna hear me talk cold hard cash trash and and name bash him on on this channel. You know, you know what I'm saying? So. And, and you know, and honestly, does anybody know what's gonna happen in the future? Does anybody know what if um what if uh Tony decides that she wants to get back with Drew or try this again? You know, know, know what I'm saying? And then now you got all this <laughs> this shit on YouTube and everybody. Honestly, I not I'm not saying that that's what Tony wants. I'm not saying she wants to get back with Drew. At some point, she wanted to. To work it out with Drew because she even said it. She said they they she said she forgave him and they was working on it. So at some point that's what she wanted to do. But honestly, at that point when Drew just disappeared and dipped, they was they were supposed to be working on their marriage, you know. But he just left, you know. So I get all the hurt and pain and and, and everything that's being vocalized in these vlogs. But what but basically the, the short story long long story short i'm saying is you can't even get back with the man if you want to because you don't talk so much shit and put so much shit out there and in, in the public eye if you get back with them people gonna look at you like you're crazy because there's just so much information that's been put out there i don't know maybe maybe some of the information could have been limited or whatever but if you're at that point where you 100 percent sure you know you don't want to be with this man no more then I'll, hey, go for it. But I ain't gonna, I, I'm just, I just wasn't the girl to, to sit there and call that, that man names and stuff. You, you know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, but I wish, I wish Tony nothing but the best because I've been there and, and done that. You know what I'm saying? I've already been through that, that same hurt and pain that, that Tony has been through. You know what I'm saying? But if Tony can use this to get these views and get these subscribers and get some coin, get it, girl. Shout out to you. And um, keep doing what you're doing. And I, and I, I hope you heal speedy. And I hope you heal fully. And my thing is, all I'm going to say is this. <laughs> I don't understand. I, it's, it's this one girl I work with. I don't understand. She's going through a separation stuff. Why do? Why are people dating 
in a separation process. Separation process is supposed to be to see if y'all can reconcile. That means go to counseling. You you got to stay separated for a year if you got kids. It's only six months if you don't have no kids. So my thing is, why is people dating? Like, if you really trying to work this out with your peoples, what? I don't know. People weird. I, I just be listening. I, I hear all kinds of stories about divorces and separations now. And I just feel like it's just... But like I said, everybody's situation is different. I ain't judging nobody. All I'm saying is it's just certain things that I, I, I just wouldn't do, you know. And and name bashing and stuff is, is one of them. Because at the end of the day, you, you're better than that. You're better than you calling somebody fuckboy or, or whatever. I mean, if he is one, he is one. <laughs> but you ain't got to come up here and... um. You know, just just do that because you're better than that. You're better than him. You know, so don't put yourself on his level. And he's the one you can't give that man his karma. He his karma is going to be dealt handed to him, but it ain't going to be handed to you by by you or any other scorned woman who's been fucked over by their uh, spouse. Okay. So anyway, I say all that with love, and um, I'm out. I said what I said. I showed it. And don't give a fuck. And don't.